Hello, Aries. This is going to be your July reading for this current year. I hope y'all are doing well. It is very early feeling for me, but it's like almost 11 o'clock, so you know. Okay, so we're going to be doing Thunderbird, right? But I'm going to do it in a different style. I'm going to read on two sides, and then I'm going to show what happens when you approach each other, right? So this, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your deck. Vice Versa deck will be theirs. And Rider Rate will be what happens if you guys cross paths, right? So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. It is just a card game, after all. With a lot of stories. Okay, let's see. Let us see. We got Five of Wands reverse, Two of Cups. Seven of Wands, King of Cups, one more card, well, two, fuck it, uh, Ten of Pentacles, and Ace of Swords, Aries, that's your row. Now your other person, as we shuffle, um, I feel like you don't want to fight anymore when it comes to this relationship. Either fighting for it or fighting against it or just fighting, period. Um, a lot of realizations of what is and is not petty. What you are defending yourself about, though, is what your feelings are with the King of Cups. Or you're fighting off a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's something wrong in the house and there's some clarity coming along with it, too. Sorry about the fan being on, too. It's hot in here. Let's see. Now, your person. What are they doing? Three of Wands, Two of Cups as well. <clears throat> they feel like they're kind, of, they're just cutting their losses way early with it. Might be expressing their emotions a little bit too openly, maybe very immaturely. Like maybe they still have love for this, you know. Uh. But they feel like mm. it all depends on how you want to look at it. Either they feel like they can overpower the other person, or you feel like you can overpower them. Mind you, this could easily get, be vice versa with cross watchers. So take it as it is. But like someone feels like they can overpower another person. Um, yeah, the other side has a volcano. Which is just like strength, power, energy. This is like someone overpowering the weaker party. Um, they might have been worried about somebody, but now they don't care. And they're taking a pentacle somewhere else. But it's not like it's a very good offer anyway. They might even look for something different. Maybe it's with somebody you had a family with or something like that, but it's like... Aries, I feel like you kind of want to like just... Not even... I feel like somebody figured out some sort of truth. 
And that's what caused, like, the Ten of Pentacles to be reversed. Nine of Wands. Three of Swords, reverse. Like, you're trying to defend yourself while fix your own broken heart. Might be a King of Pentacles involved. Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, someone who should be a stable provider, but they're not. Could also be like a debt collector of sorts. Like someone coming to get like what's owed to them. Um, probably because they need it, because he's supposed to be someone who could take care of everything, but he really doesn't. He just like kind of is a mooch. So it could be someone who feels like they're owed something as well. Um, very hard-headed about it, too. Especially when it comes to this relationship. Um, that could be you feeling like you're owed something, too. Um, and with this connection, it's like putting a flower in the desert and hoping for the best. But whatever could be laid out, I feel like... Either you or a water sign is just stuck on arguing and fighting and probably holding grudges. Like, if, not even trying to, like, win at anything. Just to be, like, uh, petty. Like, up there, right? And there's a lack of victory when it comes to this whole, like, chariot. Like, not moving forward because you're kind of stuck on all of this other stuff. Trying to, like... Almost, like, I feel like... Aries, you're kind of taking the point of view where um, someone is lashing out and you're being defensive and you're kind of like trying to get away from somebody who, um, how do I put this, is, uh, like if there was something that was messed up. Like, maybe you did something wrong, or they could have done something wrong, or whatever. It's like, this person just won't, I, I feel like they won't let it go with the chariot right here. And then, like, the seven of wands, too. It's kind of like... It's like you're stuck on something, but there's no victory in it. Like, they threw their wands up and hit everybody in the head. Like, it just came right back down. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, they would fly or something, but for some reason, they got everybody to go with it. Probably even you as well. And then we have the King of Swords right here, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Like, someone who's being very blunt. I think you're looking at these people like, mmm. Yep. I'm going to send my monkey to, like, stab them all with a rusty sword, you know? I mean, this could be people who are coming against you, and this water sign, or whoever it is that's charging, not to, like, move forward with everything, but to keep everything in, like, pretty much chaos, is, like, those could be the people who might have been coming against you, but it's, like, failure for them. And then there's the King of Swords, who's just... Not even reacting, just observing. And just being like, okay. Y'all are cheap. <laughs> Other person. Let's see what's going on on their side. Like, I feel like you're really trying just to get away from a lot of the bullshit. But I almost feel like this person over here could be, like, the water sign who's going forward with a really bad offer, you know? Yeah, they're coming forward to you, but they're not offering the cup, so it's just kind of like, well, what are you doing here? You know, probably trying to cause a little bit more chaos. Like, you know, knights, they're kind of like teenagers, angsty, a lot of energy. It, it would be different if he was riding the other way, but it's like the fact that he's coming in without it expressing emotion or anything is just kind of like, what are you here for? Oh, to make an offer. Okay. 
Capricorn Taurus Virgo right there. It doesn't have to be. It's a slow offer, but it's coming. Um, but it's coming in a really dickish way. Like, it's got to be my way or no way at all. Because, like, it's just like they want things to be how they were, but they're coming about it in a really uh, not so cool fashion. And if they don't get their way, they'll just turn their back and just let everything... They're going to let that box burn. That's exactly what it's going to do. Like, they think they're being more fair by, um... Not trying to resolve the issue. Yeah, but it's making them really stuck up in their emotions. King of Cups reverse. So, yeah, this could be, like, same person. And it's like, they're coming to deliver a message. <laughs> in a really... It's like they're being rude, but it's like whatever they're delivering has some sort of value. So it might be something involved with the family after all. So what happens if you guys approach each other? That didn't do anything. Okay. What happens if you guys approach each other? Well, we know how that went. Um, okay, so this person walked away to look good, to look better. Can be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries involved somewhere, or just how the person's acting. But, they, they, like, you know, Queen of Wands, right? She's a cool ruler. But the thing is, her clothes always fit her really loose because she's really young for her position. She's a very young, vivacious person. So, she's a ruler and she's fit to rule. It's just she's very young. So she goes about things in a, in a more childish fashion, right? But definitely looking ahead. Um... Yeah, like, someone left from this dilemma in order to look good, even though they didn't feel like they were ready. Still kind of, like, mouthing off being, like, a snoop, but, like, it almost felt like you're snooping on them, Aries. And you could be, but this also could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius who's doing this as well. Um, wanting to take some sort of swift action in order to eliminate some sort of, a. Uh, issues of the mind but I feel like there's really nothing that you gotta work out right here because this person is still looking at their cup full of all these negative emotions noticing that you just aren't really reacting and it's just just pissing her off just a little bit slightly just a little bit uh Okay, what would be the best outcome? Ah, duh. Mm. I mean, everything might end up a little fucky, but it's like... There's still so much that's not completed yet, but there might be a good chance... Might be... A good chance... That y'all might come together and, like, renew some sort of commitment or talk amongst each other with somebody who can help you who's been in this situation or even an authority figure, um, pastor or priest or just somebody above the both of you who you both probably look up to in order to help you do that. So, that's yours, Aries. If you guys want personal reading, my... Emails in my description box. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to. I hope y'all have a good day. I love your faces. Bye-bye.